saliva tests, plasma therapy, and a look back at the 1918 flu. These are a few of the coronavirus news stories that caught our eyes this week. The FDA authorized the use of an inexpensive saliva test for COVID-19 that can deliver results in less than three hours. Unlike nasal swab tests that require a special swab to be inserted deep inside the nose, saliva can be collected in any sterilized container, and the test can run using commercially available components. The new test is called Saliva Direct and will likely be offered for $10 per sample, according to the Yale researchers who developed it. Federal officials announced that the FDA won't authorize the use of blood plasma to treat COVID-19 patients until more data about the treatment can be reviewed. Convalescent plasma therapy uses the liquid portion of blood drawn from people who have recovered from COVID-19. Coronavirus patients can now get the treatment in clinical trials, but the FDA will not authorize plasma for wider use until more gold standard trials are completed. Patients randomly receive either plasma or a standard treatment as a point of comparison. These trials are challenging to organize during a pandemic due to the limited supply of eligible plasma and differences in how prevalent COVID-19 is in different regions. Finally, a new study suggests that the COVID-19 pandemic could potentially become more deadly than the 1918 flu. By its end, the 1918 flu pandemic claimed at least 50 million lives worldwide. To compare the 1918 outbreak to the current pandemic, researchers zeroed in on data from New York City. They compared the rate of deaths from any cause during the peak of both pandemics and compared those rates the same months in preceding years. They found that all-cause mortality was 2.8 times higher during the 1918 flu pandemic peak than in the same months the preceding years. Meanwhile, all-cause mortality more than quadrupled during the COVID-19 outbreak when compared to recent years. That said, the authors note that the relative increase in deaths appears greater in 2020 because we started out at a lower baseline death rate. Overall, the all-cause mortality rate was higher during the fall of 1918 than in the spring of 2020. The lead researcher said, all we know is that in this little slice of time that we looked at, there are certainly enough resemblances that it can't just be shrugged off. Check the links below for the full stories. For Live Science, I'm Nicoletta Lanise.